It's maths! It's maths! Let's rub the magic elbow patch and see what fun is coming up today. No more sad maths. It's bad maths time. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> You know what they call this, don't you? No. The best years of your life. <laughs> I bet you're looking forward to the rest of it, just as I'm looking forward to being interrupted again. Not! <gasps> Teachers, clear your room now, before that sad man clears your kids' brains. Go! Now! Guess what? I've got knits again. <laughs> I've got blue knits. Hens, there they are, and houndreds, hee <laughs> hee, houndreds, hens, and blue nits. But I've got something even smaller. Can you see them? There they are. They're called hens, even smaller than blue nits. And what happens when I get more than nine hens on my comb? Well. They turn into a blue knit and jump onto the comb next door. Nine hints is all there's room for. There isn't any room for more. And if the comb adds up to more than nine, ten hints make a blue knit which jumps next door. Or to put it another way, nine tenths is all there's room for. Isn't any room for more? And if the column adds up to more than nine, ten tenths make a unit which jumps next door. That's 35.1! Blue nits and hence? How much lower can that sad man stoop? We're talking proper decimals here, and who's going to be tested on them? Sarah Bisfan from Watford. Nico Jakes from London. OK, Sarah Bisfam and Nico Jakes, let's see if you can add up numbers with decimals. We're looking at tens, units, tenths and hundredths here. OK, bring on the numbers to add. First of all, line the numbers up. I got it. 34.85. 22.85. All lined up in the right columns. Get ready to add. OK, I'll... First of all, you've got to remember to estimate. More than 50, less than 60. 57. OK, add those digits. Do the hundreds first. 5 plus 6 is 11. Too much for the hundreds column. Carry 10 hundreds across to the tenths column. Leaves 100. Got tenths. And the one I carried. All right. Eight tenths plus three plus one. Twelve tenths. Too much for the tenths column. Take ten tenths to make a unit leave two tenths. I'll do the units. Four plus two. And the one I carried. I know. Four plus two plus one. Seven. Tens. Three plus two. 50. 57.21. Yes, and a good estimate. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, madam. Could you spare her for a second? Sure, yeah. I'd like to give you some money. Oh, okay. Would you mind holding out your hands like, oh, that's very good. Now, this is your hundredths hand, and this over here is your tenths hand. And I'm going to give you some coins. First of all, I'm going to give you nine hundredths. There you are. Nine P. How does that feel? That's good. Do you feel rich? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm also going to give you nine tenths. There you are, that's 90p plus nine hundredths, that's 99p. But I'm very generous. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you two more hundredths. I'll put them in there. Now, how many coins have you got in that hand? 11. 
Oh dear, oh dear. You're only allowed nine coins in any one hand at any one time. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take those ten hundredths away. Oh, but I'm kinder than that, madam, because I'm gonna transform those into a tenth. 10p, which goes into that hand. There you are. Not so bad after all, is it? Oh, how many have you got there? 10. 10? Oh, no! You can't have 10 coins in that hand. So I'm going to take those away, and I'm going to transform those into a pound. And because you can't have pounds in your tenth's hand, I'll have to look after that, and you can have a p. A 1p. <laughs> Thank you very much, madam. Thank you. Now, hints can turn into blue nits, and blue nits can turn into hints. If you had two blue nits and four hints, and for some reason you wanted to take eight hints away and give them to a friend, four hints take away eight hints can't be done, unless you use one of your blue nits. If you are taking hints away and find you need some more You can always get ten extra hints You get them from the blue nits who live next door Or if you take eight hints away and find you need some more You can always get ten extra tents. You get them from the units right next door can take eight hints away because you swapped a blue knit and you can take eight tenths away because you swapped a unit. After the nauseating blue knits and hints, are you ready for the test? Because the test is ready for you. OK, let's see how you handle subtracting decimals. Bring on the numbers. Line them up. 16.48 minus 4.6. Nothing in the hundreds column. I'll put in a zero. OK, the clock's ticking. Go. Estimate an answer. About the same as 16 take away 4. That's 12. Nothing to take in the hundreds column, so that's 8. Doing tenths. I need 10 tenths from the units column. You got it. 14 minus 6, that's 8. Units, 1. 10's, 1. 11.88. You did it! And with a good estimate. As a reward, you get your maths card. Ooh, blue nits and hints. Take it away. And if you'd like the opportunity to feel sick, try answering this. Estimate first. Then add 76.54 and 45.67. Then estimate 76.54 minus 45.67. Good luck. Till next time, no leaving without learning. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> Why would anyone want to give eight hints to a friend? It's madness. Ha, 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 ha.